Okay, so nobody judge me, okay? But yes, I'm eating an Activia yogurt for obvious reasons. A little constipated, that's why. Let's just go ahead and get started here. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie Blue and today, um, <clears throat> you guys, I look like very Casper the Friendly goes, whoa vampire that's what i'm trying to be i'm trying to be a vampire the struggle's real we are back with another video you guys yes it's another try on so let's get to it so i'm trying to be very like on par with these videos like okay i'm trying to stay up to date bring you guys some new stuff and be more constant so i hope you guys are enjoying the videos let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying these videos are you guys liking the constant postings all the good stuff so before we go ahead and get started my as well as you guys before we go ahead and get started here go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here be part of the tribe as well as make sure you guys like and share the video so that way we can bring in more people obviously over here to the tribe so they can see this vampire hot mess always be a vampire hot mess so all right so for today's video you guys as you guys see from the title we are going to be trying out here starlet studios I've always been curious about this brand and this whole thing. The first time that I actually saw Starlet Studios was when me and my friend, um, we always shop at Target. So we're always at Target literally almost every weekend. Like, And we stumbled upon in the makeup aisle and uh, we saw Starlet Studio. I've never heard of this brand, ne neither has she. And um, we're kind of like, ooh, it's cute. It's pretty, you know, it's Starlet Studio, it's cute. However, I believe when they first started, they had a, it was nothing but major, like a glitter bomb fest. Like they had like packs of glitter, like hair glitter, pots of glitter, um, like pressed glitters and eyeshadow palette glitters. It was like literally like a whole glitter mess. No, I've always wanted to try them, but again, I'm not really a big glitter person and I kind of don't want to buy all this stuff, you know, if it's all glitter and I'm not gonna use it. You know what I mean? So I kind of found really no purpose in it. That is until not that long ago is when I believe they were kind of like coming out with new products. And that's when I started seeing eyeliners, um, you know, face palettes, highlighters. Wait, is it highlighter? Whatever, face palettes. And then um, also eyeshadow palettes and big palettes you know, little quads and a lot of stuff. So I was like even more intrigued to try it. I went ahead and I bought a couple of things from the brand. Not a lot, but a couple of things because again, they still have a lot of glitter. So I really don't really need a ton of glitter. I don't need any more glitter in my life. Like, just like how Mariah Carey didn't need the movie Glitter. That's why I don't need more glitter in my life. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's try out these products. I think the only expensive thing that I have here on this receipt is the movie that I bought for my birthday. <laughs> and as you guys can tell, I do have a foundation and concealer and powder on my face and my brows are done too. So everything else, I'm just gonna leave it to Starlet Studios. Very good, all right. First and foremost, you guys, I need some color in this face. I look very vampire-ish, like, to start off the, um, to start off the video, um, we're gonna start out with the face palette. This is the Starlet Studio Glow Getter Face Quad. Now they have, I think, as far as what I've seen, they have three little, three palettes, face palettes like these. They kind of weird and all over the place. Like sometimes like some of them will have two highlighters and a blush and a really deep con like bronzy shade. And I, I don't know, it was just, I was able to just get this one and just call it a day. It kind of looks a little bit intimidating a little too dark for me but then again i am vampire today so it comes with a blush a contour a highlighter and a shimmer okay i don't know what that means okay anyways so let's go ahead and open her up as you guys can see i have not even opened it up and i bought it a couple of days ago so wanted to wait to try it on camera with you guys so really cute little clouds and everything and then starlight studio Oh, Lord. Oh, 
That chalk scent just literally hit me in the face. Or it smells like it smells like glue. So this is what this the palette looks like. It looks really pretty. Of course, on camera it looks pretty bright or pretty light, but in person they're pretty pretty a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the palette out and we're gonna bring some color in my face. Um, I know, don't judge it, it's dirty. The struggle is real. Anyways, so we're gonna dive into this. Ah! It's same, it, had a, it got a little dent right there, but <laughs> other than that, she ain't playing. She said, drop me, bitch, I'll still fight. <laughs> We're gonna dive into this little bronzy shade here and we're gonna kind of warm up the face and contour. Whoa. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna get my brushes dirty, so. Whatever. It's a little too warm tone, so. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, so I feel like for this shade, it might be a little too warm for my taste, but it doesn't look bad. Um, but as what I've noticed is that this is a barely tap it product. And what I mean like barely tap it, I mean like you don't need to go hard with your brush because literally this is pretty, pretty pigmented. Um, I feel like this is something that you kind of just need to really be careful and kind of build up as your, you know, as to the intensity that you want. That's what I mean. Oh my God, we have color in our face now. <laughs> We're not vampire anymore. That does not look bad at all. That looks really cute. Like, hmm, kind of warmed up my skin really nicely, really beautifully. That's really pretty. Should I contour my nose? I mean, I always contour my nose, but I'm afraid that this is really warm and it's just gonna accentuate the nose. Whatever, we're already here, let's do this. We have to whip out RG for this. I guess it's not that bad. I think if you go light, light-handed, you can get away with it a little bit. And you don't really need to kind of go very hard-handed with your brush. So, um, again, not bad for that, for that bronze shade. Now we're gonna dive into the little blush shade right here. I'm gonna take my favorite blush brush here. As you guys can tell, the struggles are <laughs> Whoa, I just barely tapped that and we already, whoa. <laughs> that is really, oh my God. <laughs> That is a really, this really intense blush. <laughs> now the blush I do have to say is the same thing as what I say about the bronzer is I feel like it's that one product where you don't need to be very heavy handed with. Like I feel like it's a product that you kind of just have to like lightly like tap and then just kind of lightly or brush off like the excess, ex excess and then just kind of like blend it out and sheer it out because I feel like this is a very intense product. <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about the blush. I feel like it's a little too intense for me. Now, if you feel like it's too intense, just grab your brush that you use to powder and then just kind of just she sheer it out. I look really funny. So we're gonna come back to this to use the highlighter shade, which is this one right here. <clears throat> now the rest of this stuff is all eye products and um, I did get the uh, Tropical Paradise Pressed Pigment Palette. So this is what the palette looks like right here. Of course there's no mirror, but it does say Starlet Studio and it's pretty cute. Um, packaging is a little bit flimsy, you know, cardboard, but eh, I don't mind it. Um, but these are the colors right here and you guys can see it does have a plastic on here as you haven't opened it. These are the colors right here and they're really pretty now this is what i imagine an actual like tropical like goodness right here so um okay so we're gonna open her up for the first time okay 
Okay, so we're diving in into the palette now. Of course, I do have my eyes already primed, so let's go ahead and get started with the palette. Okay, cool, so I am going to take my fluffy round brush here. This is, of course, from Doe Color. I do love their brushes, so I will recommend them. I'll go ahead and leave a link uh, down below in the description box where you guys can go ahead and purchase these. They're really nice and they're pretty affordable. So, I'm gonna start with this shade right here called Beige Bikini, which is like a nice, like, peach shade right here. Wow, there's not really a lot of, wow, there's not a lot of kick up, huh? Work, I'm here for it. We're gonna try, we're gonna try the tape thing, so. I look really weird. <laughs> I don't look like I have anything on, so. I mean, kind of, it's like barely there, but again, it's like a very peach shade and not really gonna show up. <laughs> This palette is actually a really nice palette. They have another one, which is more like blues and stuff, which kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Natasha Denona Gold palette or the Jeff mixed with like Jeffree Star's Blue Blood. I'll go ahead and post a picture over here of the other one so you guys can go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna dive into the shade right here called Sunset, which is like, like a nice like cherry red and using that same brush. So that shit is really nice. It's pretty pigmented. Like, I'm here for it. So far, I'm really, really, really digging for it. I just, I still don't know about this blush, but now that it's kind of like settled in a little bit, I guess you can say, it doesn't look that bad. So, so I just kind of built it up a little bit more because I kind of wanted a really intense pink, uh, an intense like. So I guess there's only three matte shades and the rest are shimmers. Um, okay. And the three matte shades are Beige Bikini, of course, Sunset, and this one right here called Coconut. So there's not really a big matte selection. So there's a lot of more shimmers. So meh. Take this round fluffy brush here from Profusion, and I'm gonna take that shade right here called Coconuts. Kind of just gonna try to deepen it down, but as I can see, I think this is gonna be a little warm brown. Yeah, no, mm -mm, it's not. No. So I'm gonna take the shade right here called Island Time, which is a nice like copper shimmer-ish kind of. And I'm gonna take it on the flat side here from the Kylie Jenner uh, brush. That, that's really well and that is not really <sighs> okay I'm not liking it <sighs> we're just gonna go for it I'm just gonna take the shade right here called pleasure which is this nice like deep green and using that same flat brush here from Kylie I'm gonna really pack it on there as you guys can see. And we're just gonna press it on here. We're gonna create that kind of like halo effect. Okay, I'm um, using the rounder part of the brush. Just gonna start just blending it together here so there isn't that weird like separation. So I can work with like shimmers as like transition colors and stuff like that, but I prefer more working with a matte color than a um, a uh, 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 <clears throat> a shimmer, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna start taking here this flat fluffy brush here. This is the AOA Studio E129 brush. And we're gonna start like kind of just brightening it up now. Um, and I feel like I am going to take the shade right here called the Sun Kissed, which is this nice like goldy shade right here. And then we're just gonna stamp it on the center of the eye here. We're gonna lightly just kind of bring it up too. I'm gonna go back to my Doe Color 
fluffy brush here and I'm just gonna just blend everything together just make sure there's nothing really crazy going on let's go ahead and jump in with eyeliner and we're gonna leave the tape like this because we're gonna do a wing shaped eyeliner I'm gonna take the Starlet Studio Ink Me Tattoo Stamp which looks like that so I guess it's one side is the tip the like the eyeliner tip and the other side is supposed to be a stamp like an actual like stamp stamp this one has a moon stamp right here so this is like the stamp that it has so you guys can see that right there so this is the eyeliner right here so it's a of course a pen liner so pretty smooth pretty nice you can see that right there but there is the stamp <laughs> that's cute the moon but i don't know about like i don't know how you would stamp this without having the, the lines because even if you like lightly stamp just to only get like the moon it you kind of have to keep pressing it to be able to get to that and like that good shape so whatever cut it so we got that on now. So let's go ahead and just work on our bottom eye now. And I'm just gonna take this pencil brush here and I think I am going to dive into the shade right here called, I'm take this shade right here called Out of the Office. Mm, this color is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Now we're gonna take our fluffy flat brush here from Wet Wilds, and I will this time take the shade uh, Night Swim, which is this one right here, and I'm just gonna get, guys, brighten it up. I don't like it. Ah, just messing up this cut, this, this, this look. Then I just buff it out or blend it out, and I'm just gonna take that sunset shade of the palette, which is this one right here. And I feel like that just ruined the look. Ah, if you guys can see it on camera, but let me bring you guys a little bit closer here. Oh, if you guys can see, like, that does not even, that does not even look cute. I'm just gonna add now a highlighting shade here on our inner corner. And I'm gonna take the shade right here called Jellyfish, which is this one right here. I'm really not liking this eye look. Let's take one of these Starlet Studios here Art Boss Face Body Pencils. Of course, these can uh, be used, of course, for the eyes, the lips, face, and body. I have a big body. These little pencils are not gonna last me if I ever do shit on my body. Those are these three pencils. There's also another pack that also has different colored um, pencils as well. But I grabbed these, so these ones here, let me remove the lids here real quick. So it comes with a black, a teal, and that like kind of like polish pinkish color. The pencils are really cute, especially for like the color ones, like the teal and the purple. Like these are really cute. Okay, it work. I'm here for it. We're just gonna say of it, bro. We're just gonna do the teal and make this look any better. So and I take the teal and I like to kind of just blend it on the back of my hand here just to kind of just warm up the color. Ooh, okay, that's really pretty. Wow, that's really, wow. Okay, we're, um, okay. This is really nice. Like, I like how that looks. The liner, not the, not the, not the eyeshadow, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to the face palette now, and we're gonna now uh, highlight. We're gonna use the highlighter shade. If I can open it. Ah, oh, there we go. And I'm gonna dive into the highlighting shade, which looks like that. Oh, this is really too coppery for me or too bronzy for me. I'm pretty sure on camera it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look that bad, but it looks a little too dark for me. Like it looks really nice, but I think for me it just it doesn't look that good. So hmm. I don't know. I'm just not really a big fan of the highlighter. Like I think it's it's a little too dark for me and I just I don't know I just I just don't know I don't know 
Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the highlighter? Like, um, so they don't have any lipstick, so I'm just gonna grab one of my own lipsticks and um, I'm gonna do my lashes and we're gonna go ahead and come back with the finished look, so stay tuned. That is the finished look. Um, <laughs> you guys, I'm really not feeling the eyes. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there. Most likely probably my color choices is what kind of just I'm not vibing it. I mean, up here is just like no, and then down here is like the worst. And I just, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the, 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 the eye look. Like, in all honesty, I just, I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and use the stamp side of the eyeliner. That looks really funny. <laughs> it does look like a Pac-Man. I totally missed the product and I missed this little, the little glitter, uh, the glitter liner. Oh my God. Should I apply it on my face? Should I not apply it on my face? So we're going to have to use this on another, on a separate look. So let's go down the row here. Um, let's go ahead and start with the, um, the face palette. It's not bad. Um, I feel like the little bronzer shade, oh my god, why can't I open this? I feel like the nice little bronzy shade is pretty nice. It's a little, it's a little bit on the warm side, but again, you're just, it's just a bronzer. So I feel like it's really nice, you know, it gives your skin a nice good warmth to it. So, you know, I can't get mad at it. The blush, the blush is, I feel like now that it's settled in, it doesn't look as intense as when I first applied it. But to be honest with you, again, this is a very intense highlighter. I mean, highlighter, an intense blush. And I feel like this is the kind of blush that you really kind of have to go very carefully with your brush and just carefully apply it on. It's a pretty okay blush. Highlighter. I'm not really a fan of the highlight, highlighting shade. I feel like, again, this shade is a little too dark for me. Like, I just, I don't know. It looks nice on the skin, on camera. But in person, I just, I'm not here for it. If I had the choice, I kind of would have switched it out to a more goldy highlighter than this kind of like, very like coppery, deep gold, burnt gold kind of color, so. Um, but yeah, all in all, the face palette is a pretty, you know, it's pretty good. Can't judge it too much, but you know, it's pretty cool for, you know, what you're getting. So, you know, recommend face palette. So let's go ahead and take the elephant out of the room here. Um, the eyeshadow palette, the uh, Tropical Paradise palette. Don't get me wrong, I love the colors. They're very vibrant, they're very fun colors. My only issue is, is that I wish that it had more mattes than just these three shades right here. These shimmer shades have a ton of fallout and that's my issue is that it had a ton of fallout. And they're just, I just, I'm not really vibing them. I just feel like most some of these shades some of these shades should have been mattes than shimmers. I'm not really vibing the eye look that I did for it. And I'm pretty sure in the comments below, y'all ain't feeling it either. I say the eyeshadow palette, I would say kind of pass. The uh, eye pencils, well, the eye pencils and the eyeliner. The eye pencils, you know, so far I've only tried the teal blue one. And as far as what I got, it's pretty, it's pretty creamy. It's pretty pigmented. Oh, like look at how gorgeous that is. And again, it's, I barely swatched that. So I, the eye pencils, I would say, you know, it's a good buy for three pencils. So why not? And then you get uh, some fun little colors besides the black. Um, so eye pencils, you know, we give the approval. The eyeliner pen. The eyeliner is pretty nice. I feel like it dries pretty fast. So you kind of have to be very quick on making your you know your your liner I'm really mad at it but again i feel like this eyeliner is too liquidy and it just kind of gets all over the place like for some weird reason i have like eyeliner all over my hands you know the stamp part is pretty cute you know it's the cute part about it but do i feel like is it really necessary to have a stamp on there no but again it's the cute factor so you really can't like you really can't get mad at it to me it's one of those products that you really don't need so just stick to your favorite eyeliners or you know ones that you already are trying so this can pass and all you guys that is pretty much it that is me trying the entire line uh well not the entire line 
that is me trying out Starlet Studios products. Let me know what you guys think about the, the products. Are these some things that you guys would want to check out? Um, try out. I don't know. Let me know. As well as let me know what you guys think about this whole face. Y'all can judge away on the eye look. <laughs> I'll be okay with that. So... Um, again, you can definitely check out Starlet Studios. You guys can check out your local Target. As far as I know, that's where I've seen it. So I'll go ahead and leave a link down below there uh, to Starlet Studios. So you guys can go ahead and check out their line um, and stuff. You guys are definitely interested in buying any other products. Again, the products are very um, inexpensive. They're pretty affordable. So before I let you guys go, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down there. I don't be part of the tribe as well as make sure you guys hit that like and share button so that way we can bring in more people over here to the tribe so they can see my hot mess just age even more as a hot mess. So, well, let's make sure you guys leave me your comments down below there of suggestions of what you guys want to see in future videos. I would be happy to comply. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.